was a discussion with two very important people. As you might have already noticed, today is a significant day for us. We are officially a year old. To celebrate this occasion, we have our co-founders and CEOs in the studio with us this morning, Tabile and Togozani. Thank you so much for joining me on Weekend Dawn. Thanks Thank for you for having us. us. Okay. Guys, the fact that I saw you here, I thought I was in trouble. And then I remembered <laughs> the last time we actually chilled on the show, um, we were cutting our cake for the first month. No, 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 the first 100 days. The first days. 100 days, sorry, yes. of uh, Newsroom Africa on Channel 405. What a journey it's been. Yep. Um, highs, lows, emotions, cries, this, that. Uh, Tokozani, how's it been for you, man? How's this past 12 months been? Wow, it's been a roller coaster ride. For us, Tabila Night became, obviously, it started a long time before that. Yeah. Uh, but it came to a head on this day exactly last year as we were counting down to going live for South Africa to experience the vision that we'd been cooking up for a while. So it was, it was quite interesting. It was very surreal. Uh, Tabili, did you ever think in your head when you guys started this journey, like you said, it, it, it started way before uh, a year ago, did you ever think that we'd be here? I did think that we'd be here. What did it look um, like in your head? <laughs> it looked exactly like this, but perhaps um, with a lot less challenges, it was a huge undertaking. Um, the first year was definitely remarkable for us, but at the same time, not only did we start this big business, uh, we also really brought the project, uh, this massive project mm. that is Newsroom Africa to life. Mm. Um, and one of the most important things for us was to build a solid team. And we really put together a group of professionals who are committed to the brand, who are committed to the channel. Um, so. In a nutshell, it's been a remarkable year for us. Well, oh, listen, the fact that you think that uh, you predicted it to be exactly the way it is, that means you guys are doing something right. Now, we're looking at both of you as people who are both involved in broadcast media, etc. Why, why do you think it was important to have a duo like this, to make something like this to work? I, Any I of you could answer. For the, for the most part, we share a vision. Mm -hmm. um, and we're very aligned in terms of really wanting to change the broadcasting industry in South Africa. I don't think anyone has seen faces like mm. this, uh, young black people building a business that they can be proud of. Because at the end of the day, that's what we are. We are entrepreneurs at heart. As you say, we did start our careers in broadcasting. But we've been able to evolve as business people. So that's been the most important thing for us, to make sure that how we started in terms of our vision, that we continue to go back to that. Because naturally, any business has many challenges. Mm -hmm. But if you're aligned on the kind of business you want to build, um, and the responsibility that we also have, mm -hmm. because we have a huge responsibility Massive, to make yeah. sure that this works, but we can't do it on our own. Hence, I always reiterate the importance of having a team that is committed, and that's definitely something we have. Togs, your standout moments uh, over the past 12 months. There must be wow. something that sticks there's, out. There's, 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 there's quite a few. I think the moment leading up to our launch for me stands out the most. It, 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 yeah, I don't... I remember it was just, just last year. <laughs> <laughs> it was exactly last year. <laughs> no, um, those, of course, Tabi and myself had to declare the station live. Mm. Mm. And I think it was interesting because when we were doing it, we thought we were still rehearsing, actually. <laughs> Oh. And uh, the floor manager didn't even tell us that you guys are actually on <laughs> your life, national life. television. Because <laughs> we've been running it a couple of times. Yeah. And we said, okay, let's do another one and just check it out. At that time, it was already 6 o'clock and we were launching. And we did it live. We were supposed to pre-record it and it happened live. So I think the fact that we launched the station live, live stood up for us. And then the things that we did after that, I mean, we were plunged straight into the elections. Oh, yes. Mm. And we had to swim with the big dogs that have been around for a very long time and mm. I'm proud that our team really really stepped up to the plate and did a very good job. And I, I think we got to give ourselves kudos for getting Cyril Ramaphosa as one of our key interviews right in the beginning. First interview, the yes. very first, first interview. interview. Yeah. And, yeah. and that was really big for us because yeah. we really wanted to start at the highest level possible yeah. and yeah. what's higher than yeah. the highest office in the country? The president. Yeah. So we had to get that stamp of approval yeah. from the president of the country. We saw earlier this morning that he also sent us um, a birthday, birthday message and it's yeah. really important for us to have that kind of support from everyone. Our viewers have been amazing. Mm. The great thing about social media is that you get feedback on the go mm. um, and we appreciate that feedback because that's the reason why we are 
here, and that's the reason why we'll continue to do the excellent work that we've been able to do. So I've been told and I've been teasing this documentary that we're going to be playing uh, in the next few minutes. Uh, what was it like putting together a documentary like that? And why did you think it was important to put together a documentary? And my real question actually is, were you guys walking around like with like reality TV cameras, like following you guys? <laughs> no, you that's why we need to call it. It's not a documentary. It's, it's, it's definitely okay, not a okay, package. Okay. Yeah. It's a package. Yes, okay. it's not a documentary. And on the day that we launched, we actually had um, another package that was called The Making of Newsroom Africa. Uh -huh. We wanted to show our viewers or give them a, a slight glimpse of what it took to put the channel together. So that's where you saw the set getting built, you saw the team joining us, a lot of the elements that went into making Newsroom Africa and, and launching Newsroom Africa. So this is an update. What do we look like a year later? What have we been able to do in the past year? And I think the most important thing about our channel are the great stories that our reporters mm. tell every mm. single day. Yeah. And we're so proud of that content that we've really seen stuck to the our news our views and that means we are essentially the voice of the people telling those human stories on the ground and so that's what this package really shows it shows how how far we've come in the past year okay yeah. so a continuation so yeah. if you want to watch the first one it's on youtube in fact when you go to our youtube page everybody please go into that <laughs> channel uh, you'll be able to see that it's there it's actually pinned um and this one will be loaded as well on there so you'll be able to see our journey and witness it as we did. Here I was thinking I'd be watching Togazani in his pajamas, you know, getting ready for work. No, it's not a reality show. No, reality the, show. the most important thing about Newsroom Africa is A, the team, that's the first the thing. Team, and I think the yeah. second thing is the content. So, yeah. yes, we may be the founders and the visionaries behind this, but naturally we wouldn't have done this on our own. It there are so many people. Right? Yeah. If, I, yeah, yeah. if I could name everyone individually right now, it's just that it's going to take all day, I would. But we're mm. so grateful to our team um, and, and, and our carriage partner multi-choice it's mm. been so great for us yeah. to be able to have a partner that is as supportive as multi-choice and the rest of our stakeholders as well right. um, but our most important stakeholders once again the team and the viewers Indeed. Shout out to the team uh, Togazani I mean it's it's big shoes to to fill sort of I mean yeah. if you if you have the uh, I don't know I'd, I'd say the responsibility of, of picking a face for this time or this hour etc that must have been that must have been a grueling grueling task yeah what what we did with tabil is that we decided to almost like shrivel up what how things have been done and throw that out and create a new path for ourselves and not be dictated to but what by what others are doing we decided that we're going to do what we think makes sense mm. so a lot of things that you see on air are us breaking rules mm. but the beautiful thing is that we knew the rules first before we broke them mm. that's very important we knew what rule to break and how to break it so that you break it in a way that works and i think that has worked for us to create a channel that stands out from the others Tabile, your favorite show on uh, Newsroom Africa has to be Weekend Dawn. It's, it's definitely Weekend Dawn, <laughs> but because we put each and every show together and we're very deliberate about yeah. what we want to say with each and every show, um, and you're correct to say that it was really intentional to say Jacob will definitely work for Weekend Dawn, which is why, you know, Jacob is still on Weekend, <laughs> Weekend Dawn, Dawn a year later. Yeah. So it was very important for us to make sure that we have the correct faces, the correct mm. team, the correct journalists, reporters, anchors, to, to, to build what we now know as Newsroom Africa, because in reality, it did start on paper. Mm. You know, we wrote this down, we typed it up, and that's how the channel started. Um, and we've been able to see it come to life over the past year. I guess we've been thrown in the deep end every time we've been doing any sort of <laughs> every coverage. single day. Every day. 19 is upon is us right end. now. Yeah. It literally is the deep end, and I, I would say we're swimming quite well. But uh, how are you guys handling this pandemic? And how did you like envision us handling something this big? Did you think that we'd be handling something this big? No. I, I wouldn't say so. I think no. on the business side, though, we've been really prepared. So, yeah. you know, as things were starting to escalate, we really worked on a business continuity plan that. We would make sure that we continue to operate and continue to provide our viewers um, with the content that they need, especially now people are essential. at home waiting for the latest mm. numbers and we are an essential service provider. So we worked on a solid plan on the business side and I think on the content side, Tox can even elab elaborate a lot more on that, um, where we make sure that we are live, we are direct all the time. Mm. Yeah, and also to make sure that we keep our social distancing and the protocols mm. that we need to keep and stick to the regulations that the government is giving uh, so that we can keep people here protected mm. while we keep you informed. So we come here so that you don't have to uh, uh, go to work 
uh, so that we can keep informed. And the quicker we get this pandemic sorted out, the quicker the country can come back uh, to its normality. And for it to come back to its normality, we need for people to stay at home. So this is just a PSA to everybody at home here. Yeah, please stay Might at home. as well get yeah. into there. <laughs> as well. So that we can be able to come back yeah. to normal. Because we've felt the pinch as well, having to work under these conditions. Most so definitely. But everyone has shown up and, and, yeah. and, and is doing their best. It is a weekend dawn on Channel 405. We are celebrating the year of first weekend, or rather, Newsroom Africa turns a year old today. And weekend. We'll be back right after this, and we'll catch up a little more with our CEOs. And, of course, uh, we'll also play that very special birthday message from our president himself, Cyril Ramaphosa. Stay with us.